Nathan Zagura here at First Energy Stadium where the Browns drop a heartbreaker 25 to 20 in the home opener to division rival the Baltimore Ravens. But that doesn't tell the story. The Browns at one point in this game were ahead 20 to nothing in this game. Corey Coleman got it started with a pass from Josh McCown for his first touchdown in the NFL. Then it was an 85 yard burst by Isaiah Crowell for a touchdown 14 nothing Browns. Joe Hayden interception Browns. Corey Coleman his second touchdown of the game. It's 20 nothing as they line up to kick the extra point to go up 21 nothing. It was blocked returned by the Ravens and that really was the end of the road for the Browns as the momentum swung. It was 20 to 2 there. The Browns had other chances but did not score again the rest of the game. Joe Flacco hit Mike Wallace for two touchdowns. Dennis Pitta kept the chains moving over 100 yards in this one. But for the most part, a good job by the D. A lot of bend but don't break as Justin Tucker kicked field goal after field goal after field goal. Three of them on the day, including the game winner late in the fourth quarter. Now the Browns did struggle, I'd say, with some questionable calls from the officials, especially late in key situations. A personal foul on court. Corey Coleman pushed them out of field goal range and then a personal foul on Terrell Pryor late in the game after a gritty catch on the sideline forced Josh McCown to try to make a heroic play in the end zone that was ultimately picked off and that was the end of the day. But the bright spots for the Browns on offense crow over 100 yards, Coleman over 100 yards and he had his first two touchdowns of his NFL career. Joe Hayden looked like Pro Bowl Joel, a couple of interceptions off of Joe Flacco in this game as well, but ultimately not enough. They let the Ravens stay on the field just a little too much on third down, allowing 10 of 16 conversions to Baltimore now offensively they did better 8 of 15 conversions for the Browns but just little things again added up the block extra point a couple of those penalties and ultimately it was not enough but you saw a lot of improvement you saw a lot of fire from this team and they showed the flashes of what you want to see from a young team dominance early now they need to figure out a way to sustain that and make those flashes more consistent and that's what Hugh Jackson will have this team working on all week for the latest on your Cleveland Browns keep it tuned to cleanbrowns.com and the Browns mobile app